Hey guys, this is Chris, and I'm here today to start off the first exercise out of many exercises for creating your first website with hardly any special software tools whatsoever. This first exercise will show you how to create your first HTML web page. Then later on, we'll build on that exercise to start creating new web pages and creating navigation, basically a whole scenario for just creating your first website. The first thing that I usually like to do is create a folder to keep all my work together in one place. So I'm going to right click on my desktop and say new folder. And I'm just going to call the folder website. So we'll be using this folder quite a bit because everything is going to live inside that folder. So I'm going to go in this folder now and I'm going to create the home page for the website. I'm going to right click inside the folder and I'm going to say new text document. And I'm just going to go ahead and open up that document. What we need to do is we need to convert this text document to an HTML document so that way browsers will understand what's inside the page so that way you can display it correctly. To turn it into an HTML document you need to create HTML tags and a tag consists of an open bracket and then for the first tag we're going to make sure it's HTML and then you want to close your bracket. Whenever you start a tag like this you also need an end tag. So I'm going to move down just a bit here and I'm going to do an open bracket again and to end a tag you need a forward slash and then the tag name and then close your bracket. So this makes up the HTML tag, the beginning and end portion. So this is the outer shell of any HTML document. It always starts out with HTML and end HTML. So everything that happens inside of this section is where things actually take place inside the document. So I'm just going to create a little extra real estate here and I'm going to create my next set of tags and those are called head tags. So again, I created a head starting tag, so I'm also going to need the end tag as well for head. And head is designed for things like if you want to add a title to your page uh, that would show up in the top border of a web page, it would show up there. Um, instead of it showing you know, the name of your the file itself, um, like for right now it's new text document, right? We don't we wouldn't want to show that in the in the title border. So you can actually specify a title inside the head tag. So you need a title tag like this. And inside that title tag, I'm just gonna put my home page. You can put whatever you like. You can also put other elements inside of the head tag, things like JavaScript or CSS styles. Um, we'll get into that in a, in a future exercise, but for now, let's just keep a title tag inside the head tag. So now, now that the head section is complete, we're going to move down and create a body tag. And again, I'm going to also add my end body. And this is the main portion of what happens inside the bulk of the web page. Okay, what actually gets displayed in the in the large section inside the web page. So anything outside the body won't display on the web page itself. The my home page again it will just be at the very top of the web page, you know, near the at the very very top border, and it would also show up. Um, as the name of your tab if you're using a browser that uses tabs. So in a future lesson we'll start populating um, some elements inside the body but for now we'll leave it alone. It doesn't matter how much extra space I have down here the browser doesn't really care it's not gonna you know make the page any longer okay um, so I'm just gonna clean it up you know just for myself so later on when I go back to it you know, it just looks nicer. So now it's ready to be saved as an HTML document. So I'm just going to do File, Save As. And 
We're going to come down to Save As Type and just select All Files. And I'm going to give it a file name Home. And then I'm going to make sure I use .html as the extension. It's really important to have that .html at the end of your file name. And then I'm going to hit Save. And I'm going to exit. And now I don't need this original text file. I'm just going to delete it. So all that's left is my home.html file inside of my website folder. Let's see what this looks like inside of a browser. I'm just going to launch a browser. And all you have to do is actually drag the file inside the browser like this. And you can see what happens. My home page, that's what was in the title tags. And it's also here at the top. Again, notice there's nothing inside the body of the page yet because there's nothing inside of those body tags. You can also look at the source inside of the web page. If you right click and just say view source, you can see the tags that you had created. Okay, they're all there. I'm going to exit out of that view and I'm going to exit out of the my home page view. And just so you know, if you want to make future edits now, you can always right click on your HTML page and do an open with and then just choose a word processing program of your choice to open it back up and continue editing. I'm going to exit out of here for now and exit out of my website folder. And there's my website folder on my desktop ready for the next exercise in a future video. Thanks so much for watching.